We use ray diagrams to locate an image. So if we want to know what this lens is doing, if I put an object in a certain place, where will the image be and what kind of image will I get? The way we do that is with something called a ray diagram. You can also do it by calculation, so we're going to do both. First we'll do the ray diagram. With the ray diagram, you need a line to represent the principal or primary axis, PA. You have your lens, and this is a convex lens because it's shaped like that. And we have the primary focus, that's when if all the light was going through this lens, it would all converge right there, it's primary focus. And we have what's called the secondary focus. And that is something on the opposite side of the lens that's the same distance from the pri as the primary focus. In fact, this distance here is called the focal length. So we put the secondary focus at that same distance back the other way. In order to find the image of this object, here's my object, it's just an arrow. In order to find the image of that, I use three rays. It only takes two to locate the image but we need the third one to confirm if it's real or virtual and to see that we did it correctly. So these are the three rays we're going to use. The parallel ray. A parallel ray bends towards the primary focus. So I take my ruler, which is here, and I draw a ray parallel to the principal axis. So from the top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate that point, the point of my arrow or my object. So I take this and I draw a line parallel to my principal axis. And that line is the parallel ray and it bends towards the primary focus. So I'm going to bend it through the primary focus and continue it right on through. That's where that light ray goes. The second ray is called a center ray. It goes through the center and just continues in a straight line. So that's very easy. From the top of my arrow through the center of the lens, I'm going to do this in another color. There is my center ring. So I've got two of them there. That means I've located my image. My image is going to be right here. And that's the top of the arrow, so there's my image. I'm going to label it height of image. This is the height of the object. And my image looks a little bit smaller, and it's inverted. The third ray I'm going to use, the third ray is called the focal ray. It bends parallel to the axis. So a focal ray goes through the focus, the secondary focus. When it hits the lens, it's going to go parallel. So I do this, I draw a focal ray. It goes through the secondary focus, and then it becomes parallel. And it should go through the same point. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. There we go. So the parallel focal ray becomes parallel and meets right there. Since all three rays met, then this is a real image. It's also on the opposite side of the lens, which makes it a real image. So let's take a look. Orientation, it's uh, upright or inverted. This one's inverted. Type, real or virtual. The three rays met, so that is uh, real. The size, I'm going to estimate it's smaller. The location is a little bit, I'd have to measure and see if it was closer or further from the lens. And the magnification is a formula. HI over HO, height of image over height of object. If I measure this, this might be 10 centimeters. The height of the object might be 11 centimeters. So I calculate that and I get an answer and uh, there are no units for the answer. So that's how you locate um, an image in a ray diagram. Now with this type of lens, there are really three different types of diagrams you can end up with. And that depends on where you put the object. If the object is further than the focal length, you get one type. If the object is closer than the focal length, you get another type. And if the object is right on the secondary focus, you get something else. So we're going to draw all three of those in the next video to show you the, the only three possibilities there are. Okay?